keys. A little better for the front cam and we will worry about that when I when we start. Well, we are live. We are live. Yeah, we're 100% live. Okay. Hello. I'm trying to find our video so I can see comments. Are you sure we're live? Yeah, my phone popped up with a notification. Hello, Angela. How are you? Hello. Why can't I find this? I don't know. How, do you know how to use this? Do you, it's. I mean, usually it pops up. Mm -hmm. Huh. It's weird. I'm sorry, everybody, that I'm just staring at my phone. I'm just trying to find us. What if I search Let's Make Art? Facebook says it's still sending data, so we're only on YouTube. Oh, right now. okay. YouTube, we're good. Hello, YouTube. I can't see your comments, so I'm sorry. We are still trying to send data to Facebook. They won't hear this, possibly. They might hear it after the fact, but uh, there's literally nothing I can do about that. Okay. Now, we have all kinds of people on YouTube, hundreds. Hello, hello, everybody. See um, what we're painting today? We're painting this postcard. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ah, ah. is the correct. Uh, yes, that is the appropriate response for that. <laughs> Will you get notified when YouTube does work? I'm just I wondering. Think you should be checking. It's going to say sending data for a while. I assume I'm not sure why it's not going to Facebook. Okay. There's nothing I can do about it. I could turn it off and turn it back on, but that would create a new live. Mm. Maybe a nightmare. Okay. I wish someone would tell me what I need to do. <laughs> should I should I just go? If you if you go, we'll probably eventually hook up to Facebook. And it should be able to like bring we, back retroactively upload what you've already done. If we were to turn it off and start again, yeah. do you think that would actually help? <clears throat> no, but I can try I can <laughs> I can try another setting real quick to see if there's um let me go to let me see. Let me let me see what I can do for you. Okay. Sarah. Okay. Um, for those on YouTube who are here, waiting for me to teach, we are using all of the colors from the October subscription box. So if you're waiting to see what colors we're using, it's those five colors. And I wish I could even see who's here so I could give y'all shoutouts, but I don't have it on my. Phone. Sorry. <laughs> um, hmm. What can I? <laughs> you what? just start saying hi. Uh, what can I do? Who, uh, who's here? Uh, <laughs> and I don't know how to. You can get on YouTube and look at our join the live there. Okay. And then when we get to the data. Or once the data gets sent to Facebook, you can go to Facebook and I'll watch YouTube. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, how do I see the comments on YouTube? There's a button that says live chat in the middle, right next to the thumb. The thumbs up. I don't... No, I see thumbs up, thumbs down, share, save, report. Is it our live video right now? Yeah, I think so. Isn't that it? Okay, where are you? I'm in the app. YouTube oh, app. I'm not in the app. I don't have the YouTube app. This is awkward. Do you want to use my phone? <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we'll trade. Oh, Sunny Day asks how Arlo is doing. Um, he's doing so good. He's growing. He's almost eight months. Um, he's just the best. If you guys follow me on Instagram, 
Sarah Dandelion Cray, I post an obscene amount of photos of him in my stories. <laughs> um, Aisling Arco says, my hair looks great. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for that. Hi from Texas. Um, Linda says, hello from Pittsburgh. Uh, Callie, Callie, I hope I'm saying that right, says, I love your earrings, sir. Thank you. They're from Empress. Empress? M Empress. Empress. Yes. Okay. Should we get going? Let's do it. Okay. Is Facebook just not? Facebook is not responding. Facebook's not responding. Well, Correct. you guys chose right on YouTube, so good job. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's good. We're good. Oh. Judy says that Arlo's pics make her day. Uh. <laughs> they make my day, do. He's so cute. Okay. Well, let's get started then. Okay. So, first of all, thank you guys so much for being here with me and painting this special postcard for our Let's Make Art Matter recipient for the month of October. This month, our recipient is going to Mickey. She is in Pennsylvania. And um, unfortunately, this past February, uh, her husband, who she was married to for 23 years, passed away. Mm. Um, and also because of COVID, you know, family who really, and friends that are there to support you when loved ones um, pass on, have not been able to visit. And so we just want to send some painted cards and love to Mickey to let her know that we're thinking about her, we care about her, she isn't alone, and I'm kind of just sending her an art hug, I guess is what we can do. So, um, but the thing about Mickey, I believe her daughter is the one that um, nominated her, and she says that she's been staying busy, and one of the things she's doing is planning an Alaska trip for her and her family her children and her grandchildren. And so when I heard of, thought of, heard of that, thought of Alaska, I thought snowy mountains. Um, so that's where this postcard came from. And I just wanna show you guys really quick that um, I wanna show you the evolution of this postcard. Okay. Okay. So it started with this, okay. That's a pretty one. This one's fun, but I was nervous about the mountains, mm. okay. It definitely looks better. I'm looking at it on the YouTube screen and I'm like, dang, that actually looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> definitely one of those that looks better from far away. Um, and then this was round two, me trying to figure out how to teach mountains. Oh. Okay. And so I started and I'm like, no, that's not, that's not going that's there. That's more blizzardy. Yeah. And so then I was just like, okay, darker values. And I was just like, okay, this is getting a little too dark and moody that for me. That looks broody. Yeah. Brooding. Um, and then I did this one, which I'm like, okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, I got something here. Okay. But then I feel like I do these trees a lot. Oh. And I was just like, and I wanted it to yeah. feel fall. We've been meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> We've had complaints. <laughs> They're like, paint any other tree, please. <laughs> We're getting concerned she doesn't know other trees. And also I wasn't sure if, because these are like fir trees, I didn't know if they had those in Alaska. Oh, good point. So that's how I ended up with this one. I got my snowy mountains, I got the cool sky, and then I got a little bit of fall in there. Now these could be trees, these could be shrubs, they could be whatever you want. Nice. I left it kind of vague. Um, okay. So that's how we, so I just wanted to show you guys that because very rarely is it you paint something perfectly the first time and it's ready to go, okay? There's a lot of planning and trying things that go into this. And so I just want to show you guys kind of what that process looks like. Thank you. Okay. So um, I used Wasi tape. Now this also came in your October subscription box to tape my paper down. Um, you don't have to tape your paper down. We're just going to be painting the entire thing, so I wanted it to be um, held down so it wouldn't curl up while I was painting. And we're going to do this project in four steps. So our very first step, we are going to paint the blue sky. 
Our second step, we are going to paint the mountains. Our third step, we're going to put in our trees and leaves. And our last step is we'll go back into the mountains and kind of do a little bit more texture on them. Okay. Okay. I was seeing if there were any questions that I can answer. So far it looks great. Okay, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start by using my round six and I'm gonna wet the sky probably the top inch and a half to two inches, okay? And then I'm gonna take my blue, excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. I'm warning you guys. Oh. Ha! <laughs> what? what was that? I stopped your sneeze. Oh my gosh, do I, I don't know if I have to sneeze anymore. No, nah, you don't. Okay, great. Keenan, wow. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> okay, my paper is wet. And I'm taking my blue, and I'm gonna drop it in the top. And it's just going to spread because the area is wet. And then I'm going to work my way down. And I'm just going to keep spreading that blue. Now I want to make sure that this blue stays fairly light. The darkest part is going to be at the very top. And the reason for that is because we got to paint mountains over this and watercolor is transparent, especially like the snowy part. So now at this point, I'm actually just going to be painting the right hand side. Okay. So it kind of looks like this area. And this is a very, very light value. So um, you might not even be able to see it on your screen. That's how light it is. Um, the colors that I'm using are the colors from the October subscription box. So that is Tahoe blue, fuchsia, black, tangerine, and yellow. And I'm gonna do one more layer of blue just because I want that to be a nice and vibrant sky. Is it working on YouTube? No, it is not. Oh, okay, well that's all right. There are 346 viewers with us right now though. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You chose right today. Uh, Aisling R asked, well, if this will still be up after this stops? Yes, it will. All, just about all the videos we make, we keep up, even if the lives. Okay, so there's step one. Step two, we're gonna put in our mountain. Now, if you're not comfortable just going in straight with paint and drawing, you can use a little pencil to sketch it out. And I'm just gonna let this dry just for a second. Oh, Clark Fine Art says, I did mountains in my postcard that I mailed a couple weeks ago. Love this program. That's so great. I love that you did this on your own already and did mountains. Yeah, that's amazing. That's so great. I love that. And that's a great reminder that you guys do not have to paint the same picture um, for Mickey. You guys can paint whatever it is that um, is speaking to you or that you think that she might enjoy. I just like to do a tutorial just to get you guys to like do this, you know? Yeah. Okay, so let's draw our mountains. So I'm gonna be drawing the left-hand side of our mountains, and then I'll go in and draw the right-hand side, okay? So when you're drawing these mountains, I'm gonna start angled up, okay? And then I'm gonna go down, up again, and they don't have to be perfectly straight. They can be a little bit curved. And then it's gonna go back in, and I don't know how to like, say anything besides out and in. Okay, <laughs> like they're not like actual shapes I'm drawing. They're just like, go up, go back down. You're kind of doing the top of a triangle. Could we do the close up on this drawing perhaps? Is the side cam connected? Boom, on. Awesome, okay. So. Wish granted. Well, thanks Keenan. Keenan, you're really good at your job. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll draw darker. I'll draw dark so you guys can see, okay? So I'm gonna start over, I'm gonna start like Halfway, halfway on my painting, I'm gonna go up and then back. Up again, and it's a crooked line, it's not smooth. And then in, and by in I mean we're not going straight down. I'm angling back in to the left, okay? And then out again, and I want this one to be the furthest point out, okay? So it needs to be more to the right than this point. 
And then I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna go more down. Maybe go in, down, and then my line is gonna go across this way. And I know that that looks really weird. Kinda looks like a monster's paw. <laughs> Just trust me. Just trust me on this, okay? Now I'm gonna draw the other side. Now, I'm going to connect, I'm gonna start at this point and just have my mountain go down. Now this side, because it's in the back, you can either have it go across or I'm gonna have it go down because I want this edge to be the furthest point. If I were to make this go down, then this edge would be the furthest point. You see what I'm saying? So I kinda want it to like go here. Got it. Okay, and then this one, a little one right there. And then here, you can kind of see where we're going to separate it. Okay? That's our mountain. Dang, that's You guys cool. just drew a mountain. Good job. Wow. Okay. Now we're going to paint our mountain. So I'm going to mix together my blue, my fuchsia, and a little bit of black to get kind of like a dark blue purple and um, it's like this is a snowy mountain and the light or the sun is on the left hand side so that's why we see the snow is mostly the white of the paper and then the right hand side oh. is very easily shadowed what if you're referencing the reference photo it's easier for me to be able to see it oh sorry and i, I should have put it i in didn't friend. do a good job <laughs> Well, I take what I said back then. Thank you. You have room for improvement. You have no idea how much stress that relieves from me. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to take this dark color, and on the right-hand side, I'm going to make my little edge. I'm going to paint on the right-hand side of it. And then right away, I'm going to take water and blend out. Now I'm not going to blend all the way down because I want to leave room for my fall tree busha area. Okay? Did you say busha area? <laughs> Bush area. Bush. Busha. Busha. Okay, and then I have the shadow on this second edge here. And then I have the shadow on the farthest edge here. Now, doesn't that look like a shadowed mountain? That looks awesome. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more black on the edge here. Okay. And I went pretty dark with my pencil. If you went pretty light, you can even outline a little bit the edge of your mountain there. Okay, we're gonna leave that to dry and we're gonna put in our um, trees or bushes. Foliage. So I'm gonna start with yellow, and just on the left-hand side, I'm gonna be doing side marks with yellow, lifting up my brush. I'm going to experiment with a different kind of camera combo. Okay. So if anyone says they hate it, let me know. Okay. And We're if, trying and something if you new hate here. it too. All right, I'll watch. You guys let us know what you think. Oh, well, Keenan. <laughs> I like that. You guys let, let us know if you like that too. Oh, Ashley says, whoa. Danison says, whoa. <laughs> 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 uh, Olga said she's using the witch hat cat colors. That's okay. You can do this project with whatever colors you have. There's no, no stress, no worry. Wow, they really love it. Nice. Cool. Okay. So I put my yellow down first and now I'm going to grab my tangerine and I'm just going to do the same thing on top of the yellow. Deb says, I like, Keenan should get paid. Well, Deb, <laughs> calm down. 
I don't know about that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I was given a year's supply of candy, and I'm happy. <laughs> he gets to learn art for free. Because <laughs> yes. he's filming these tutorials. I feel like that's payment enough. Constantly. <laughs> Okay, and if you want to be a little bit crazy and drop some strong tangerine in there so we get some value variation between our oranges, you know me, I like to do that. I would probably try and sneak some purple in there somewhere. No. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So... That's our, that's our foliage. We can go back into it if we need to, but I'm gonna let that dry for a second and I'm gonna go back to my mounds. We're on our very last step here, you guys. So, I am going to pull color that's already on my mountains and I'm gonna pull color to my snowy area. So, on the left-hand side, I'm gonna look at the angle at which this is going and I'm gonna mimic that angle on the left-hand side. Okay, so here's this mirrored and I'm just going to pull down some color, okay? Wow. So we're getting like a light value here and a little bit of rough texture, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab and for Keenan's purple, I'm gonna put some more fuchsia yes. in there to make it purple. And I'm gonna do as if like there were like rocks or something like that that are kind of like sticking out that. So it's like the snow is only covering some of it, so you just see it poking. What? And I'm just going to do kind of a soft wash coming up this way too, kind of near the bottom. I want to go here. Yeah, me too. Okay, and if you need to smear it a little bit, you can. If you want to do like different color, darker edges in there, you can. Just kind of play with it. And then I'm going to go back to my right hand side and do one more layer of those shadows. So I'm going to grab my black and blue. And just kind of like right at this edge where it's coming off, where it's sticking out on the right hand side the most, so here, here, and here. I'm gonna put in another layer of shadow. And that's to kind of show that um, these are different facets on the uh, mountain. We've got a mountain Dang. on our hands. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing if there's any questions. Okay. Uh, Suzanne says, this is my first live. Do you always go so fast? I'm just starting with the leaves. Okay, Suzanne, I'm sorry if this is going too fast for you, but you can um, totally refer back to this tutorial when we're done here. Um, this is usually how fast that I paint, but quickness also um, improves over time. Okay, so I'll try and slow it down a little bit for you guys. Thank you for that reminder. And um, don't be afraid to tell me to do that. Um, but again, you can watch this tutorial later. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna go back in and do, using my round two, and I'm gonna do smaller little textures on some of these edges here for my foliage. And if you, if you want to be like really crazy and mix your fuchsia with your tangerine, get like a dark red almost, feel free to throw that in there. I like this camera angle. But this cam camera combo is my favorite, I think. It's looking good. A couple people said that they do miss the palette being in the shot, but... 
I can go back and forth. That's the only thing I've seen that's... Okay. That's it. That's our... That's our uh, tutorial. I'm just messing here. Last minute messing. And I feel like I just want a couple more. I know I said I was done, but it's just like, let's just do a couple more here. Little rocks. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to untape it now. Yes. So I'm going to slowly and carefully peel away. And I'm pulling away from the paper at an angle slowly. I got a little bit of bleeding on there, but that's okay. And I think I got to do this side next. Okay, let's do the top. Ooh, that was a clean edge at that mm. top. And then pull away from the bottom. There we go. Nice. Okay. People are like, the tape peel is the best part. <laughs> 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 I do love that tape peel. Okay. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little um, mini postcard tutorial for Mickey. I hope you guys take the time to paint something for her. Um, maybe it doesn't have to be this. Maybe it can be something else. She did just recently adopt two rescue dogs, Calvin and Hobbs. Calvin and Hobbs. So if you want to try your hand at illustration, that could be a really That'd cute postcard cool. to send. <laughs> um, but my hope is that you'll just take time out of your day to make someone else's. That, that's what we're trying to do here is just to connect with other people. And um, I think that if we just do these small acts of kindness, when you do small acts of kindness in large numbers, it just transforms into changing change. And that, that's what we're trying to do is just let people know that they're not alone and that we care about them and that things don't have to be perfect to be worth sending and we don't have to have the perfect words to let someone know that we love them and we don't even have to know somebody to understand what it means to experience grief or to experience pain or to experience joy. Those are universal feelings that we all have and being able to connect with each other in that way, I think it will just make us, it will just remind us to be kinder to each other. So I hope you take the time out to do this um, you guys are wonderful. Grab a friend, grab somebody, do this. Uh, we do a postcard every single month across our boxes, so please feel free to chime in and paint with us. Um, if you are not a subscriber, you can absolutely still participate. Just email our customer happiness team at hello at letsmakeart.com um, and they'll share with you the address and um, you can send your own little painted postcard. Um, if there is someone that you would like to nominate for this, you can go to our uh, homepage, letsmakeart.com, scroll down to the bottom and there should be a nominate button there um, where you can nominate someone that you think might enjoy this. And again, um, it doesn't always have to be someone who maybe is going through a hard time. Those are always really wonderful because I think that's when people need love the most. Um, but it also could be just celebratory things or, or it could just be letting someone know that you're thinking about them just because you are. I mean, to that's reason enough to celebrate someone, you know? So mm -hmm. um, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for painting with me. Um, are there any questions? I don't see any. Okay. Well, you guys are great. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. And uh, thanks for painting with me. Bye.